What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I have disgusting, dirty, three, four, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, four day old hair wash, washed hair day, four days ago, whatever. I posted in, no, this was, when was this? Look, this is how you know it's dirty when you push it up and it stays up. It's one of my vlogs recently I had this cool little like faux hawk style hair and it was actually really easy to do and so I was like all right well we'll do a video on it I get asked all the time for hairstyles for girls with short hair and fine hair which is what I have unless I put my extensions in so this is kind of like a super easy faux mohawk faux hawk style thing without having to do any braids so if you're someone who doesn't know how to braid this is perfect for you I already have copious amounts of dry shampoo for this in particular i'm just using the batiste original because i feel like this is the thickest dry shampoo it's not great <laughs> it's not great for like everyday use in my opinion because i do feel like it collects a ton in your hair but for this particular style it's great so really the only things that you need for this hairstyle are just some clear elastics i got these guys i think from target they are the shittiest clear elastics i've ever had <laughs> they break all the time so if you have a better clear elastic recommendation let me know basically this hairstyle is just creating mini ponytails into buns that we're going to pull apart and kind of connect them together the first one that i like to do is giving very much snooky vibes. Um, I actually used to wear my hair like this back in the day and I just, I really love it. My first ponytail is going to be just about this much section of hair. And when you pull this, what you want to do is pull it almost to where the tail comes through and then we're going to twist it again and pull it. We're going to kind of have this like as if you were doing almost like a uh, like if you were to pull your whole hair up and do a messy bun you pull it halfway through and then twist the hair tie around it's important that you don't over tighten these because if you do it's going to make it very difficult to pull apart now i like to pull these front pieces because i like a bit of a poof but that's how you're going to start with then about maybe like i don't know an inch or so we're going to go ahead and take the next section and it's important that you grab a brush for this because as you can see if you're doing this on dirty hair it's gonna get kind of lumpy which is okay you know if like you don't mind having a little bit of texture just make sure that you're not pulling the first ponytail into it make sure you don't get any other hair in there and we're going to do the same hopefully you can see this from this angle so pull halfway through so where the tail is still sticking out and then you're going to wrap it around the second one and pull that bun to give it a bit of floof it's okay if it looks crazy you can take bobby pins and we can pin it down afterwards this is just to kind of get them all collectively together i like to leave these little like baby pieces out i feel like you look better with them <laughs> so i'm going to do the same thing we're just going to take this same type of section and I also like to make these sections kind of small I feel like if you do them too big you'll get too much space in between the buns and we want it to kind of look as faux hockey as possible you don't want to see like your actual hair being pulled back and try to make sure that you are putting the buns directly underneath each other I'm going to kind of turn to the side for this so you can see hopefully this is really without a mirror so halfway through twist around oh god I can't see and pull I don't know how good that one came out because I really couldn't see that but <laughs> don't worry too much about pulling them apart right now I kind of go back and do that afterwards just to give it a bit more texture and again you can use some bobby pins to kind of like fix any ones that you think are standing upright you can also take the ends of them and re stick them into the clear elastics I just get a little weary doing that because like I said these elastics are kind of shit As you get closer to the base of your neck, it's important that you try to pull the ponytails up instead of letting them fall down. Just because you'll see if you do it too low, it'll look floppy at the bottom and then you'll have to end up pinning a lot more than you would initially have had to. It's okay if you get some of the other buns into the other ponytail. Honestly, sometimes when I do that, I feel like it stays a lot better. So this is like my last section here at the bottom. If this stay, if these stay in here without breaking, I'm gonna be very surprised. The bottom pony is usually the one that I make the tightest because I just don't want it to be like 
flopped down but as you can see like even with doing that it kind of stays down a little bit more than I would like I can't really see this from the back so we're just gonna kind of we're just gonna roll with it I'm just gonna stick a bobby pin to keep that bottom one up against my head so it looks very faux hockey now you could leave it like this if you want to but I like to make mine a little bit bigger I go through I pull this apart I pull these little buns apart I kind of make them like stick to each other a little bit when you do this and you pull the buns it actually tightens it on your head which in my opinion I feel like makes it a little bit more secure especially if you are doing something like CrossFit with these with this hairstyle this piece what's happening here I need another I need another hair pin. Sometimes if I don't like the way that one came out, I will put another elastic on top of it to kind of secure it in. And then I will go through, keep pulling these buns to make them have some more volume. You can pull your sides and kind of just like fluff it up a little bit. And there we go. Okay, so this is what it looks like when we spin around so you can see the whole thing from the back. Hope it looks good. I really have no idea, honestly, because I can only see the front. <laughs> but that is it. It literally takes five minutes. I think this looks so cute, especially if you are someone who doesn't have a lot of hair. If you do have a lot of hair, this might not be the best one for you, only because I feel like your buns might be like massive. Uh, but for us short hair, fine hair girls, I absolutely love this. It's so fun. Every time I wear my hair like this, people always compliment it. So let me know if you try it. Tag me in a pic if you do. I don't remember where I saw this. I want to say YouTube originally, like a long time ago. I used to do bubble braids like this back in the day when I would do like in the open, my in the open videos. You'll see my hair kind of like this, but more bubbly. Yeah, so that's it. Super easy peasy. Let me know what you think. If you enjoy these style videos, let me know. And as always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe so you never miss Monday and Thursday with Banners. And now I'm off to the gym with my cute hair. I'll see you in my next video.